So welcome to our today's coffee lecture, reading Neue Zürcher Zeitung, New York Times and other newspapers without a paywall. My name is Bettina Etzel and together with me is Raymond for the second part of the lecture. Hello everybody. In particular, we will focus on the New York Times and have a quick look at NZZ before I hand over to Raymond. The access to New York Times is a very special offer, which is uncommon and different from other newspapers available through ETHZ, as you can use it like a private subscription. If you have created an account once, you can access the New York Times site with your login. This is independent of whether you are within the ETHZ network or not. Furthermore, after signing in, you have the option to install the New York Times app as well. And last but not least, it is rare to have access to the official website of a newspaper and its app. The normal library access is through secondary providers, for instance, through databases. Please be aware that you won't find the access information in our library's catalog, but on the library's website only, and here in this presentation, which will be online afterwards, probably tomorrow. You have the possibility to sign up to a vast variety of newsletters from A to Y. Unfortunately, there's no newsletter beginning with Z, which I was very disappointed. <laughs> you will find a great range of topics concerning politics, cooking, science, sports, and a lot more. For music lovers, I highly recommend the amplifier because it suggests music not based on algorithms. But let's have a look at the New York Times website right now. And I will change. And hope you will see the website right now. Um, here you see the today's news, but it's also possible to search for past news. Have a look for the search symbol. And I try my luck with climate change. So now you can see you have different options for sorting. So you can also sort by oldest. And um, you have different filter options. So the type or the section or the date range, um, which covers all articles since 1851. I have prepared an article from 1900 about climate change. I switched to that one. And this article forecasts an upcoming glacial period. So this was a short and simple introduction about New York Times. And now we will have an even shorter look at the Neue Zürcher Zeitung. Unlike the New York Times, you will find this newspaper um, in our library catalog, and it's available within the network of ETH set only. And I also prepared to click on this link. It leads us to the database. And as you can see here, it's not um, possible just to start serving as we put in the New York Times, but you have to start with uh, searching. I will do a short and simple search. And as a result list, you have um, single articles. But as you see, also options for um, searching and filtering here on the right. So um, by clicking on a result, you can read the full text, or you can also go to the original paper um, by clicking on this um, PDF. And there it is in the downloads. All right, this just takes a moment and this was all I wanted to say about the NZZ. And I go back to the PowerPoint presentation. 
here is just a slide to remind you. And now I will hand over to Raynet. Yeah, thanks, Bettina. Yeah. Um, besides these two archives we've just seen, uh, ETH Library provides uh, two full text databases uh, for news, that is uh, Nexus Uni and Factiva. But whereas Factiva um, has maybe more popular news sources, uh, Nexus Uni provides uh, offers a personal login, and this is needed to set alerts, and that's why we're going to focus on this database. Let's say the disadvantages compared to the single journal archives, uh, as New York Times or NZZ archive is that uh, articles are published with some hours uh, delay and uh, the full text doesn't contain any pictures. But for the rest, you got full access to the newspapers and to many more uh, newspapers. So we're going to see this in real time. And I'm going to share my screen. So I hope you see my screen now. And yeah, you can find it through the library catalog. So simply put Nexus Uni. And remember, uh, it's a licensed product. So you have to be within the IP range of ETHs, ETH to access it. So once you did this, um, you get to the start page. Um, What's maybe different to you, you now, if you don't have a login already, um, create one up here where it says, hi, hi Raymond. Um, and then on the right side of the page, you can create a login that's free of charge and is independent from the uh, actual access of the database. And uh, if it's if your default is set to German, uh, once you're logged in, you can change your personal uh, language here. Or uh, if you're not logged in, there's a change language button up here. So at the start page, uh, there is a very useful um, quick search, which is uh, limited to news and the last two years. So I just place. Uh, a search, it's already prepared. Uh, so we put North Korea. Uh, I put it in quotes because it's a fixed term and tests uh, with a asterisk uh, to make sure that the search includes word, uh, variations of the words like tests or testings or something. So we place the search. And we see, uh, yeah, only the, the previous two years has, of course, like it's worldwide, more than 10,000 entries about that topic. So it's, yeah, not surprisingly. Uh, so maybe you have your favorite newspapers and you want to do more uh, uh, restricted search. You would have a lot of filters on your left side to, to further narrow your search. But if you have like your favorite newspapers, you can go back and we go to the advanced search here, which is just under the search field. And now again, we're looking for news mainly and I have my topic again. And here, I take apart these two words, but I could do it all in, this, uh, in the first field. And then uh, you, you see there's some um, pre-installed filters and uh, all down there's source. So I can look for my uh, favorite sources. Uh, let's try with this one. Okay, there is Chicago Daily Herald, not the most famous one. And I look for a more popular one, USA Today. Okay, I choose this one and I let run my search again. 
So, and let's let's say that is my favorite uh, search because I always want to read these new these two newspapers, and this is one of my main int uh, my main interests. I could now set an alert. It's this little bay uh, bell here um, on the right of the results for. And this bell um, appears only if you're logged in. That's important because if you're not logged in, you're not able to do uh, an alert. So if you set this alert, um, you'll receive an email anytime. Um, there's a new article about testing of North Korea in one of these two newspapers. Um, yeah, what there you see uh, all kinds of options. You can share it, print it like it's uh, very well known. Here you get a save so you can um, save your results list to uh, yeah, uh, uh, folder you create or this prepared orders we have folders we have here. Sorry, so um. Maybe you're interested, uh, yeah, where are all the sources Nexus Uni got? So then you can go to um, this menu point here. You go to all sources. And then you really got the whole list of all the sources. You can further narrow this search, um, for instance, by international or Europe newspapers or you can uh, directly search your favorite newspaper so here we are again you say to ah, no no this was wrong sorry usa today and as soon we found it with this little menu on the right, you, for instance, can add your newspaper to your favorite. And then when you go back on the start page, you see you got these reasons and favorites and you could choose this as pre-filter. and then place another search and it will search only within USA Today. Uh, so what you can find on this uh, database is, is like a e-paper versions. It's only the full text without pictures and with, without the or orig original layout or structure of the newspapers. So uh, that was it for my part, and I'll hand over to Bettina again. Thank you, Raymond. So we hope that you enjoyed this coffee lecture, even if we are slightly over time. The next week, you can learn about the research rabbit, and the recording will stop now. We will be happy if you stay a little bit to fill in the little survey.